The Hotchkiss M1914. This was a machine gun that saw combat throughout the first half of the 20th century around the world. It was most notably used by the French as their standard machine gun in the second half of World War I. Over 65,000 Hotchkiss 1914 machine guns were produced between 1914 and 1920, sold in its various calibers and models, approximately 100,000 units were produced. The gun was sold as far away as Brazil, and in Japan it would influence weapon designs into World War II, evolving into the Type 92 machine gun. So as always, let's take a look at this historic firearm, and highlight some of the movies it's featured in. The French version of the 1914 Hotchkiss machine gun was chambered for the 8mm Lebel rifle cartridge, which was the first smokeless powder cartridge to be made and adopted by any country, introduced by France in 1886. The Hotchkiss company was founded by an American gunsmith, Benjamin B. Hotchkiss, who moved to France in 1867, after the American Civil War, as U.S. government funding for weapons decreased. Benjamin Hotchkiss lent his name to the Hotchkiss gun, which during his lifetime referred to the series of revolving cannons he invented in the 1870s. The Hotchkiss Model 1914 would be developed after his death by the company he founded. The first model in the series was the Hotchkiss Model 1897. The series was based on a design from an Austrian, Adolf Odkolek. This design was improved by the company, and in 1898 an export model was offered for international sales by Hotchkiss. This model would be upgraded in 1900, with a few minor changes to make it more reliable and affordable to manufacture. Some of the first purchasers of the machine gun were from Japan, Norway, and several Latin American nations. The French would buy a few hundred of the early models, mostly for their overseas forces. The French army would adopt a state-owned design and built machine gun over the Hotchkiss. This was the complex Pitot, model 1905, which was upgraded to the Saint Etienne, model 1907. When World War I started, these guns could not be manufactured in significant numbers, so the French adopted the Hotchkiss model 1900, with some minor modifications, and in 1916, frontline units began receiving the model 1914. It was quickly concluded that the Hotchkiss was more reliable than the Saint Etienne, which it began replacing. The Maxim gun was largely seen as the machine gun of the early 20th century, but this was a heavy machine gun and needed water for cooling. The Hotchkiss was air-cooled. The five rings on the barrel are there to increase surface area to dissipate heat. The Hotchkiss at 23 kilos weighed about 4 kilos less than the Maxim. The Hotchkiss was gas-actuated and not recoil-operated. It fired from an open bolt like most modern machine guns in order to avoid cook-offs, that's cartridges being prematurely ignited by an overheated chamber. The construction of the gun was very efficient, with only 32 parts. There were no screws or pins. It's considered intuitive and easy to assemble. There is no manual safety and no semi-automatic feature for the Hotchkiss. The gun had advanced luminous night sights that went to a maximum range of 2,000 meters. The Hotchkiss 1914 had a decent rate of fire, between 450 and 600 rounds per minute. However, it could be hampered by a strip feed system. Strips held between 24 and 30 rounds. The gun would be operated by three men. Two men worked to feed the machine gun's brass feed block, which could easily burn through several strips per minute. The Maxim had the advantage of using cloth belts that could hold 250 rounds, though metal feed strips were stronger and easier to store than cloth belts. A well-trained crew could compensate for the feed system. Empty feed strips were ejected automatically, with the bolt left open to accept a new strip. Once a new strip was inserted, firing resumed. A trained crew could sustain feeding and firing at a rate of around 120 shots per minute, only limited by the barrel, which would overheat after approximately a thousand rounds of sustained fire. The feed system limited the weapon's practical use on aircraft. However, it was popular on vehicles, particularly the smaller Hotchkiss 1909 model. The Hotchkiss models saw many modifications. The Japanese chambered it in 6.5 by 50 mm Arasaka. The gun would be copied by the Chinese, who produced it to use the German 7.92 Mauser cartridge. Spain also used the Hotchkiss machine gun firing Mauser ammunition. 2,000 were in service when the Spanish Civil War broke out. 
The gun further saw action in North America during the Mexican Revolution, with Mexico purchasing both 1897 and 1914 models. Even the Americans purchased several thousand M1914s for their expeditionary forces, using them at the front in 1917 and 1918. By 1917, belts were available for the Hotchkiss 1914, but were rarely used outside of vehicles. Ah, right, I'm Johnny. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. We will get out of the trenches in the next video, maybe try something railway related. Take care and have a nice rest of your day.